Hi y'all, welcome to Farm to You to Table. I'm Andy Hopper, your floral BFF. You know it's January, we're gonna start a new you, a new me. We're gonna start all together. We're gonna do some really great techniques and stretch our imagination as a designer. I'm really excited for you to join me in my kitchen as we start off with some Oasis techniques. So here's what you're gonna need this month to make the arrangement. You're gonna need a beautiful Lonestar living room for January. We have a lot of plus one, so you choose whichever one you want to use. You can get a vase and go to old videos and see this, but you know what? I'm gonna challenge you this year to use a beautiful box we have in our Bloom's department with Oasis and a knife in your clippers. So let's get designing. This January, we have a beautiful bunch of gorgeous flowers and beautiful purple that we're gonna use for this design. With our plus one I chose, because I love to be different, is these beautiful snapdragons in beautiful purple. But the big technique we're gonna talk about in this video is about Oasis, how to use it. Oasis is floral foam that you can design in. So when you use Oasis, you wanna fill a bucket full of water and then drop your Oasis in it. Don't push it down, let it like submerge naturally by itself. Don't touch it, just dropping, leave it alone and let it fully soak. When you first get it, it's gonna be dry and really, really light and a different color of green. When it's fully soaked, it'll be this color. So that's the biggest tip I can give you about Oasis. Most people wanna push it down and it puts air bubbles in it, which make uh, for the flowers to die really quickly because there's air bubbles and it's dry. So let's start designing. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and pull apart my arrangement and I'm gonna cover up my bases. With Oasis, you wanna cover up your mechanics. So I'm gonna first cut off my greenery to use it to kind of fill in all the gaps that, I'm, that I may have in this arrangement when it's finished. And again, I'm gonna kind of go around the edge just to fill in the beautiful pieces of this arrangement. And to give, sorry, again, give it some volume, give it some texture already. But again, I'm trying to put this in the four quadrants of the arrangement. The next I'm gonna use this beautiful, gorgeous kale. It's kind of the centerpiece of this arrangement. I love kale, it's really, really beautiful. I'm gonna cut it at a beautiful angle and I'm gonna insert it right here as my front focal. And you can pull it up in this a little bit if you want to, um, to give it some more um, volume to it, add a little more weight to it for your centerpiece. Then next I'm gonna take and I'm gonna use my gorgeous um, chrysanthemums, my palms is what we call it, and I'm gonna break it into segments. So I kind of made two for one. So I cut it into two breaks, if that makes sense, so I can use more of it in my centerpiece. I'm gonna put some in here, and I'm gonna put another one here on this side. Then next, I'm gonna add another one. There's another one of these beautiful purple dough. I love that fringe. Don't you love the texture of that? You know, again, new year, new you. I just love the beautiful color of purple. Um, it's royalty, treating yourself, treat yourself like, a, like the king and queen that you are as a designer. You're gonna learn this year to do some amazing things. So I'm really excited. And I'm gonna add some of my Alstomeria. Again, to add that little bit of texture and volume to it. Don't you love this color? It's just so pretty. It just reminds me of like new beginnings. So next I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna start adding my snapdragons. I wanna do this next because snapdragons are break really easy. So I wanna make sure I add those in at this point in, in my design, because if you add them in last, you may break them and there may be some, some issues with that. So I like to add them right here when it's not overly full. So I'm gonna start adding my beautiful snapdragons. I love them. And don't worry about snapdragons. They actually are geophobic. They actually move up from the earth and transphobic was from the sun. So I just wanna make sure that you understand that they're gonna move a little bit with the way, way the light comes in. They're like tulips a little bit because they actually have this, as we used to say in the, in the industry, they have this little eye in the, in the end. So they move around a lot. So don't worry about that. They may move a little bit. I'm gonna kind of elongate it using this more of a line flower, again, more turns for you to use, uh, like these are line flowers, which they cause a line. So if you wanna like make direction with your arrangement, you're gonna be this beautiful line. So then I'm gonna come back in and you're gonna make this little bit of beautiful pop in color using these gorgeous, gorgeous green palms. I love the color and it's really gonna add some pop to this arrangement. So I'm gonna come in and just add these in a few places that I see it. Again, I'm gonna kind of group them together a little bit just to make it nice and even and feel a little more pulled together. But I love how that pop of green just adds a little bit of ump to this arrangement. I 
Also, I'm kind of filling in on the, on the front side of my arrangement. And then I'm gonna come in and on the back side, I'm on the other side, I'm gonna add another focal with this beautiful disc bud. I'm gonna add it on the back side of this arrangement here to give me a little bit of a focal on this side. So you know, all the audience has a beautiful visibility around this whole arrangement. And then lastly, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add these great oryngium to it. Again, for some texture. Again, I chose this because I think it's really beautiful. Um, I want it airy. If that's not your style, pick another like more um, filler flower or something like that if you want to design to make it a little more um, your style. Again, this is my style. I love line. I love that flounciness of arrangement. Again, lastly, this beautiful carnation. I'm going to add it in here too. And just going to pick up all these little bits and pieces that I have all over the place. I'm going to add this here. I have a couple more pieces of this I kind of cut off. Again, just adding them where I like it and want it to create this beautiful, gorgeous centerpiece for January. Again, new techniques, new you. Thanks for joining me the first of this new year for 2023. Join us next month as we push ourselves to become a better designer from farm to you to table.